hello welcome to the channel today in this tutorial i'll show you how to design this part here in FreeCAD and to do that you we'll use these dimensions here and if you want this drawing you can download it on the GrabCAD site okay so here first we we'll create a new file and here we chose part design workbench create body and create new sketch in xy plane Okay, in this sketch here, we go to sketch drummers and here we select this rounded rectangle tool, draw this rectangle in this way here. And now what to do is to select this submerge constraint and select this center point and this center point and now this origin point. And now you can see this rectangle is constrained in this center point here, in this origin point. So what to do now is to give dimension for this sketch here. So in this top view here, we see an horizontal dimension of 8. We have this dimension here and this radius here. So we come back to this model and first here we select this constraint. We set, we set a radius of 10 millimeters for this arc. And now select this horizontal distance tool. We change here to 8 millimeters and now select this tool here, vertical distance tool. And here we set this dimension and now we leave this sketch. Press home and now select this pad tool here. And here we see a pad of 8 millimeters. So we change here to 8 and now click OK. And next to create these walls here. We'll select this tool here and we'll set the diameter to 10 millimeters. So come back to this model and select this face, okay, and select this tool and change the, the diameter to 10 millimeters and click OK. Okay, so next, what to do is to create this part here. So select this face and create a new sketch in this face and here select select center rectangle tool, click in this origin point and draw this rectangle. And in this page here we can see these dimensions. We have 65 and we have 80 millimeters here. Okay, so we come back here and we select this vertical distance tool. We set this dimension to 8 millimeters. Select this tool here and constrain the dimension of this line to 65. And now leave this sketch. Go to pad tool. And here we'll set a pad of... Okay, guys. Here we have this dimension, we have 20 and 68. So here we'll set 68 minus 20 and now click OK. And next we'll create a new sketch in YC plane. What we're going to do in this sketch is to create a sketch for this part here. So the diameter of this circle here is okay, is 28. So here we select the cycle tool, we draw a cycle in this vertical line and select this tool here and we we'll constrain the diameter here to 28 and now select this sternal geometry tool, click in this edge, switch to section view and what to do here is to select this center point and this end point and select this horizontal constraint and now close this sketch. And now we click in this pad tool, we set symmetric to plane, and we'll set a pad of 8 millimeters. So click OK. And next we'll create another sketch in YC plane. Switch to section view, and here we extract this edge here. So, okay, what we want to create is a sketch for this part here. 
so here we select the cycle tool click in this center point and draw the sketch here and now select select this online tool draw the sketch in this way now select this vertical this horizontal constraint and make this line horizontal and now select this trim tool and trim this arc here and now what to do is to select this fillet tool okay select this fillet tool fillet these two lines and these two lines and next here we select this equal constraint we set these two arcs equal and now select this merge constraint select this this point here this line and this point okay and now we'll set the dimension for the sketch here so in this page here we see that uh, the radius for this arc here is 18 okay so here we come back to this model select this this tool here and select this arc and here we set 18 okay and and we see this dimension here a radius of 5 of 9 for these arcs here so we constrain this arc to 9 millimeters of radius and okay and next what to we'll do okay here we have this dimension 20 so we come back here and we select this horizontal distance tool we select this point and this point we set 20 okay and here we don't have the height so here we'll set we select this tool here and we select this point and this point and here we'll set 15 okay it's okay close the sketch and go to this path tool set symmetric to plane and now we see the dimension for this pad is 25 so here we change to 25 and click ok and next we create a new sketch in yz plane again and switch to section view and here select this tool here external geometry extra this edge and this edge and this edge here and this edge so now we select this polyline tool click in this point here and now this point and this point and this point and this point okay so now we select this center point and this point we make it horizontal constraint and now we close this sketch and we go to this path tool set smart to plane and the value of the pad will be 80 millimeters so change here to 8 millimeters and click ok and next we create these next we create these walls this one and this so what to do is to select this face here and go to this and create a new sketch and here what to do is to select this external geometry and extract this edge here and now select the cycle tool draw the cycle in this center point and now click in this vertical line and draw the cycle okay so here guys for this wall here we have a diameter of 18 and for this wall here we have a radius of 5 so the diameter will be 10 and the distance between the center points of the cycles is 20 
So here first we constrain the diameters. Here is 18 and here is 10. And the distance between the center points is 20. Okay. So now close this sketch and go to this pocket tool. We change the tab here to throw hall and click OK. And next we create a sketch in this face here, click in this icon. And here we select this center rectangle tool and we draw this rectangle here. And in this page we see this dimension 4. So we select this horizontal distance tool and we set the length of this line to 4 and now leave this sketch and go to pocket tool. Here we set throw goal and click OK. And next we select this edge here and we go to this chamfer tool. Here we see these dimensions here. So here we change to 1.5 and now click in this edge button and add this edge and click OK. And next what to do is to okay we have a chamfer here in this edge so the volume will be okay we can set two millimeters so select this face here and go to the chamfer tool and here we set two millimeters no set one millimeter and click OK and next what to do is these fillets in this part so the value of the fillet is 0 0.5 okay so we come back to this model and we select this edge here and go to fillet tool we change this dimension to 0 0.5 and now click in this add button and we add this edge this edge and this edge and now this is these two edges here we add this edge and this edge and now click in this add button again and you can see this so click OK and I think it's all So guys, as you can see here, this, the design of this part here is finished. Thank you for watching this video. And again, if you want to drink for this model here, you can download it on the GrabCard site. Okay, thank you for watching this video.